I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos, where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, DJ Fusion. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful night? I am doing pretty good in my corner of the world. How are you today? Uh, hey, I love when people ask me that. I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. What part of the world are you in? I am currently in the DC metro, so we are just starting to experience fall around this way. And luckily, the weather is decent and solid, so I'm pretty grateful for it. That's wonderful. Hey, man, uh, I said Mary, but hey, DJ. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all good. Ain't no problem. Oh, sweet. Well, you know, I always offer my email um it's a standard letter but it's an email of sunshine i could always send it your way caribbean sunshine would you accept sure and there we go so i'll send that email sunshine for you when the fall starts to get a bit worse yeah that that definitely works because i know what's going to happen so that's <laughs> Mary, tell me, which of your talents is responsible for us meeting? Um, well, I have been doing my radio show slash podcast for quite some time with the Fusebox Radio broadcast. Um, I've been doing it since 1998 as an undergraduate. Wow. And then I just started getting into the podcast and because that technology just happened to be segueing into the mix a few years later into the world. And, um, yeah, basically the show that folks do is a mix of music and commentary representing different sides of the black diaspora. So we'll play music like hip hop, soul, funk, jazz, reggae, and plenty more, um, independent and mainstream. And we'll just talk about whatever's on our mind, anything from politics to pop culture and everything in between, along with, um, interviewing various folks that we find interesting. And, uh, when I say we, there's myself and there's, um, my partner. Um, John, also known as the Black Hawk, on the show, and that's essentially um, what folks do. Fascinating, fascinating. So, who did you learn the skill? I'm intrigued to know of of consistency. Um, basically, with this particular situation, a lot of it was just being something I was passionate in, and then um, since I started out doing the show originally via college radio actually getting feedback that people liked what I was doing. Um, the show, I originally had a late night spot for the show, so it was midnight to two. Ouch. And I honestly <laughs> think, yeah, right. And I honestly think they didn't expect me to last that long, but my dorm was literally right across the street <laughs> from the radio station. So I'm like, well, if worse come to worse, I can nap, roll over, do this show, and then walk <laughs> walk back down and do what I need to do the next day. And you would get like late night callers and stuff. And for me, I'm just like, wow, I'm messing with different equipment. I'm able to play different music. You know, folks started getting different music from various folks. And then it's like, somebody's up giving a call. Like, Hey, I like what you're doing. Does it help me through my night shift or writing my paper mm -hmm. or whatever have you. And the show itself just started opening up lots of opportunities um from the interview to traveling to different events as a dj and press person and more and for whatever reason that's been one of the more consistent things of my adult life has been doing this show next year um by around mid-april will be 20 years this show has existed in some way, shape, or form. So my show's almost able to drink, yet I have no kids. I have no idea what that means <laughs> via the universe, but perhaps my show is my kid. So so there it is. Yeah, that's fascinating. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's it, it always intrigues me how an individual only needs to get one thing consistent and then things build around it. Um, but who you are then definitely shines through. Um, you know, you're a giver, right? Like you were giving. Yes, it did cause pain, but you're giving, right? Um, why would you why will you continue to repeat this skill? I mean, you have been doing it for quite a while, almost two decades. Why will you continue? Um, basically it's a few reasons. The show, I think, was one of those things that actually helped me grow into myself. Like personally, I'm a relatively shy person until I get comfortable. But somehow doing things on the mic, I was just more free to talk and just express the type of person and individual I am. And um, 
I really dug that. Like, I was never necessarily the most unpopular kid or whatever back in the day, but I wasn't also, like, you know, homecoming king or queen and all of that type of stuff. So it was kind of cool being able to be like, this is me, this is who I am, and that got me into different niches of life in general, much less media I never thought about because I didn't major in communications Hmm. or media or anything like that. Um, It was one of those scenarios, I guess, some people will say was meant to be universe dictated it heaven sent etc um i was originally involved in the station with the music department since i am a huge music fiend and i ended up meeting my mentor through that and he was like hey don't you want to try to have a show but i'm like oh they already got a lot of people who have shows and stuff like well you can still get training and get a try and you know maybe work with another step before you get your own so i ended up working under his show for a minute and then they opened up the late night spot and it just kept going um I think for me, the show being one of the few solid things one had at that period of your teens to your 20s can be very turbulent. Helped out a bit. I had um, people who passed away, got sick, other types of stuff. And being able to do the show was almost just kind of an anchor Hmm. of sanity and having other stuff to do besides it being things I was generally really, really into like i've always loved music in general i played instruments back in the day i collected tons of music i still collect tons of music and uh, being able to do something be here like here's the type of stuff i like it doesn't make me a total weirdo that i like this but i also like super popular stuff too (laughs) and mixing it up um it just brought me to some very interesting places and being able to continue to do so even though i'm not at a diehard station anymore but you know the technology has been had people allowed to grow and expand and bring your show to different places has been definitely amazing i think the advent of podcasting has been one of the best things that's happened to regular people in terms of being able to express themselves um in a very very long time we all got to go through the same distribution channel you know we all have access to itunes and stitcher and all these other places to get our product and form of expression out there and it's been interesting with the journey being able to go from something that's more terrestrial based to something that almost anybody can really do you know you still got to craft what your topic and subject matter is like you got these 12 minute convos and you'd be able to do your thing i got something that's a little more long form i'm able to do my thing too and we can all go through the same people and find somebody who likes what we do exactly hopefully multiple people who like what we do exactly. and stuff and um, it's all from all over the world and people who can contact you from all over the world like hey i listened to this while i was traveling or you know you get stuff that you had to put google translate on you're like wow this is not spam somebody has to listen to my show <laughs> um it's it's been very interesting and I'm hoping that this um, medium continues to be in this vein while it's growing since I remember doing podcasting when it was something that people looked at it, looked at as a nerd thing. Yeah. You know, nobody's going to listen through it through a computer or, you know, this, this is semi dating me cause I'm not old, but I feel old enough talking about this. Um, when iPods first came out mm-hmm. and they had all the other random MP3 players, people like, ain't nobody's listening to that. Now you got a, you got a cell phone. You can listen to a podcast. Yeah. Any place, anywhere, whether you download it, wow. stream it, it is whatever amazing. have you. Like it's 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 fascinating to see how this growth has gone and how I know in the music field I tend to deal with in terms of like hip hop, R and B and stuff like that, to have people just say like, Oh, blogs and podcasts are for nerds. Now everybody has a podcast. Okay. You know you're everybody has that, a podcast. And I, I just saw the first podcast radio in my mind right the image of the podcast radio right because it, it'll just be super cool right like you could just mm-hmm. click through like the, your tuning button a tuning knob and just go through podcast right it'll just be yeah yeah and and, and you know even that's interesting like you got cars now there's like we have tune in radio exactly. or different other stuff and you can get that while you're driving because people get tired of the same old same old and you have so many options now yeah. with podcasting in the mix with other stuff a lot of the major corporations and other folks have podcasts too hmm. a lot of stars who were just there like oh i don't even know what a podcast is maybe five to seven years ago are all like oh by the way listen to my podcast yeah. while i do my hmm. my other thing so it's 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 been a fascinating scenario and it's been cool because for people like within my age range like that late 30s mid to late 30s early 40s usually people try to like kick you out of the box to being important in the realms of media much less you know if you're a black or a person of color Hmm. there's 
whole groups of people who yeah. do their thing out there and they have audiences of, of their own and it's literally them being them and it's anybody recording from the house to the formal studios it's, it's just very awesome it is it is i love that you brought that up wow amazing audience we are live with dj fusion you know i said dj fusion and so i want to say chicka, 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 something like that but um uh, oh, yeah hey, that's yeah. all good got sound effects and everything all right <laughs> well mary so it's so her name is mary nichols and she is mm-hmm. dj fusion but the skype has mary nichols so i'm constantly going back with that amazing audience that's what's going on there right but we do it's, DJ. i would fusion. say it's cool it's, it's it's on the website too so yeah, i'm like, so like cool. mary nichols dj fusion so, either or there we go well mary let's switch guests for a moment let me now invite you into my t- Time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Mary, what is your Fancy. earliest childhood memory? Oh man, um, earliest childhood memory probably playing playing with a toy or something around my um mom's apartment in um Southern Maryland back in the day. Hmm. How old do you think you were? Um, and probably like three, four, I guess. It's rel- rel- relatively young. Why do you think this memory is so clear? Um, I guess kids like toys and that's cool and relaxing. So Interesting. That's what's up mind. Yeah. Hmm. Well, can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Okay. I love the fact that your career started and was even built on the elements of you playing with the tech. And there you are playing with the toy. Fascinated. It is your earliest childhood memory. And you said you shared that going through time, yeah, I get to play with stuff. I'm on the night shift, and it's fascinating how that has connected you to so much more, even with the consistency in the radio world. Hmm. Okay, see, that's deep. <laughs> All right, that works. <laughs> if we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? 12, let's see, we're talking about 1990. Oh, my goodness. Um. So I would think hip hop wise in that era, um, probably Tribe Called Quest. I left my own wallet in El Segundo. Mm, there we go. <laughs> um, silly song. It was hip hop. It was fun. That early, early era of the box and all that type of stuff. Um, God, this makes me sound old talking about that. Like 1990s, a grown adults who were born in 1990. Um, Going to the store and getting cassettes and stuff. Oh, sweet. Or the bootleg man and getting bootleg cassettes of <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Or even making a cassette, right? Like, or making cassettes, like yeah. all that type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The chipmunks. Uh, yeah, you put it on, you speed it up, right? And it's going like the chipmunks. That was fun, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, the no, the, the no Spotify era, like you got an album, you listen to the entire thing, or you rewound back and forth till you probably broke your tape, or heaven forbid you messed up your tape. Yeah, yeah. And you feel hurt. Yeah, no Spotify. Wow. My 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 sons, hmm. oh, they may never know of these things, right? It's fascinating. All right, like my friend. CD. What is that? Oh my god! Like, <laughs> like, like, stop it, y'all! Y'all just stop that right now. Do it's you, like you use that albums. to reflect the sun? Is that what that's for? <laughs> but, like you hear people talking about certain albums, it like blows my mind. Now, like, wait a second, that album can't be twenty years. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> but I was in school. That was a while ago. <laughs> let's let me get my caramel and rock on the rocking chair. <laughs> Amazing audience. Wow. Hey, Mary, we have arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form that says yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to go pretty quickly here. Mary, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Um, Have I chosen someone to pass on my skills to? Um, There's people who I help out on various levels. So I guess so in terms of just getting into media in general, much less music types of stuff so sure are you married i am not so hey fellas what's good have some sense and holler at me Do you have i'm a little too old for you not to have sense no children <laughs> um i'm the cool auntie and big cousin and stuff for people do you believe in god um i believe in a higher power and a deity and a way of life um so i guess so <laughs> do you have an inner circle of friends do i have an inner circle yes i do do you watch tv for more than three hours a day no because i fortunately and unfortunately don't have the time occasionally wow. a netflix splurge splurge but that's about it what about screen time screen time the phone and or the computer is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day it's less than eight but it is enough <laughs> mm. 
after a thousand and one conversations, Mary, I came up with a workbook. The name of it is yours. It stands for your own unique real self. Connected to that is your own unique real statement. Your mission. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, what would that be? Um, my mission would be to help people be able to express themselves as soon as possible, since I think a lot of us get stuck in thinking that we had to impress other folks hmm. and um, say things that necessarily please other people all the time um if we can't talk and express ourselves fully we're not going to have anything good happen including our own interpersonal relationships love it mary nichols this was a great pleasure before you leave dj fusion is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience well um definitely thank you for having me on board i hope folks listen to more conversations like this through your show and you can check out what's going on to Fusebox radio family anytime by our website fuseboxradio.com check out our history um current and past shows upcoming events um book folks for dj events speaking and plenty more and um yeah keep um everybody keep doing what you do and try your best to be on the right path for yourself and do good by others since we know we live in a crazy world you got to do the best on both ends to have your life be truly worth the while hmm. I love it. Mary Nichols, this was a great pleasure. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. All right. Thanks for having me. You have a good evening. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition the signs and symptoms and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.